Morning all, welcome back to the kitchen. I have an Aldi shop for you. I haven't been at Aldi for ages because a little is a little bit closer, but sometimes just need to change it up because you get a bit bored of the same things. And I do generally eat the same things, but I've got a few nice new bits in here. So this is a, I mean, I follow Slimming World and my husband is sort of following it too. Uh, which is really good. It's really quite um, nice to have someone supporting you in the same house, isn't it? So let's start off with what we call free food. This is food you can eat, you can fill up on it basically. You know, it's it's um, something that you want to fill your plate with first before you start adding things that we call sins or healthy extras. If you know Slimming World, then you'll know what I'm talking about. If you don't know, just enjoy it anyway. See what's in the Aldi at the moment. So, First of all, let's start off with what we call speed food. This is stuff that helps speed, it fills you up, but it's low calorie, it's very good for you, and it helps speed up your weight loss if you eat mostly the speed food, which is free. So, a little bag of easy peelers, a little bag of small um, pears, um, good old romaine lettuce, very good for you, lots of nutrients in that. Three peppers, oh, we've got my peppers. Apples, these were on the six for um, the, the six. I think it's like every week they have six or seven different um, items that are really low in price. So these were 85p. God, I mean, I was spending nearly two pounds on apples not long ago. Those were in the, the red onions. I love red onions. They were also about 69p. I won't tell you all the prices, I don't know. Baby potatoes, less starch in these. So I can have potatoes, but they if they're very floury, big potatoes, I've got to be careful, but the baby potatoes are a little bit less starchy than I find. Um, the Chantenay carrots, these are just nice raw, love them, love them. Again, about 69p or 49p. Um, the mush big, a lit large closed mushrooms, again, these are all speed apart from the baby potatoes. Um, big one, I think they were 99p. So, not bad, not bad. So they were on the cheek. Um, cucumber. Didn't like the look of any of the tomatoes there. I'll just go to Sainsbury's. It's around the same price at the moment. Um, and a big bag of frozen berries, free every day. I have berries in my yogurt and some wonky blueberries that were about a pound. So not too bad. So that's those free things. Also, what is free is things like 0% yogurt. So 0% Greek yogurt, unflavoured and unsweetened, okay? So Greek yogurt and the fat-free 0% um, Greek star yogurt my husband likes. I like the real Greek yogurt and skier. I cannot find skier in Lidl or Aldi at the moment. It's cheap in, it's cheaper in Tesco's, 185 in Tesco's for the Arla and it's £2.25 in Sainsbury's. So, you know, you've really got to shop around because that's quite a lot, quite a difference, isn't it? So, but these every day, free. And then some nice, I've got pastrami today, and I've got the Tennessee barbecue ham. These will both come up in free. I was, I had my little app on my phone, <laughs> so I use that going around the shop. Um, my husband has, so that's, oh sorry, I'll keep, I'll keep them with the free here. Just a few drinks really. These look really nice. They had a blueberry, but you know it's stacked up on big craze. The blueberry was underneath and there was no way you could lift it to get to it. So a raspberry and a peach with lime aid. I thought that was very nice. Um, a couple of coffees. My husband takes a big one to work and I like the Colombian. It's a, I'm thinking it might be the same as the Sainsbury's one, hopefully. Let's see what else we've got. So your meat is free and you know it's a protein, so you have lots of that. Good old eggs, again, free. Have a nice big omelette. <laughs> Um, I'm not a huge egg fan, funny really, but those are my freeze. Let's have a look at some healthy extras again. So healthy extras, that's like your calcium and your fibre. And um, a lot of people have lots of like uh, your breakfast cereals. I don't have a lot of breakfast cereal because uh, I can't eat it, but I can have oh, oats. Sometimes I've got to be careful, but very rarely um, I might have a few oats cooked i can't have them raw my husband likes them raw these so 40 grams of oats for your healthy extra b that is your fiber you can have one of those a day there we go and that'd be along with you know you can have either that or you could have bread or wraps or cereal you can't have it all because remember we're trying to lose weight here or keep you know a healthy weight then we have our 
healthy extra A's, which is your milk and your cheese. So you've got, you can have 30 grams of a mature cheddar twice. So you can have two lots of healthy extra A, that's your calcium. You can have your milk or you can have your cheese. I don't usually have that much milk. So um, I would have like two lots of cheese. So uh, you could have, these are one and a half sins each, the cheese triangles, or you can have four for your healthy extra A. Now, I believe that the laughing cow light, you can have about six, but don't quote me on that. I just think they're a bit different. Maybe there's different calories. And then your baby bells, I love a little baby bell. And they are, again, you can have two. I've, I've really messed that up. I think you can have three of those as yet for extra A, or they are two sins each. So these are one and a half sins each. So you don't have to just have those. You could sin them quite low. And my husband has the milk. And I think that's 300 mil for one healthy extra A. And I will have these and either the almond or the coconut. And they are 400 or 450. But just have a look. You know, you can find out easy enough. I'm just really rubbish at remembering. I believe it's 400. Uh, but I would just have a couple of splashes of this, you know, I don't really, I don't generally count that on my healthy extra A because I never drink 400 mil. So those are your healthy bits. I believe I've got everything. Oh, wait a minute, a couple of freebies. I don't like, uh, I don't like kidney beans, but I do like black beans. These are free and I got these ones. You get the essentials, 29p, so not too bad. Um, I've got two, two baked beans and I'll tell you what I do with baked beans. I get a lot of say Mediterranean vegetables and I roast them in fry light in the oven and then chop up mushrooms and then I'll have beans to them and it's a really nice meal with some sliced um, chicken on top or even in a jacket potato if you want it or a sweet potato and I really like that as a meal it's really warming and just all free and all really good for you so you know if you ever think I don't know what to do with baked beans add loads of stuff to them and it's really nice so let's have a look at some of the sins we've got Oh, there's one thing I've forgotten to, uh, forgot to sin. Oh, no, these ones are fine. So I've got some of these protein yogurts in a pouch, and they are one and a half sins each. And I probably won't have one of those, and I'll tell you what I'll do in a minute. So those are the protein yogurts. Very good for you, very filling and tasty. Um, <laughs> sorry, my husband's just in annoying me. So I've got some things that are now what we call sins, and a few just like odds and sods, really. So, everyone's been going on about this tea. And they got the jam, the toast and jam one. And then my husband came up with the salted biscuit. So obviously these are free, they're just flavourings. And let me just, let me just have a go. You can sort of taste it. Maybe if you had sugar in your tea, you might, but there's definitely a taste, a, a taste of it. That's So I've got the toast and jam. Um, a couple of paracetamol, you always, you know, just pick them up because that's when they're cheap. Good old toy wet toilet, uh, moist, moist toilet wipes. A um, couple of cat treats. She likes a little bit of cat treat. Well, sort of, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. Very, very fussy cat. And this is the perfume. that I've, I've had a couple of these. And you put them on and then when you get them home, you're like, oh, I don't like those. And I bought them and I just ended up getting rid of them. But this one, the Poppy and Barley, it's apps. Oh, it's really, really nice. It really is a lovely smell. Yeah, that's the one. And I'm so glad they had it because I thought they would run out. I didn't think this is going back. I mean, this is going back in the before summer that I tried it and could never find it again. Today, there was one there and I yoiked, and I believe it's about 6 99 Not really expensive. I'm not put any prices on here because I change constantly. Um, for all this, all this, it was, you know, about £100 just over, which is, you know, it's quite a lot. But my husband, we're going away next week, uh, next weekend, and my husband's bought a load of beers to take. So that's taken it, high, you know, that's probably about £20 worth up there. Uh, right, let's go back to what I was talking about, and that is my what I call the sins. So a bolognese, I mean, it's so low sins, three, the whole jar is three. Um, these are one and a half sins. Now, it says per portion. I believe when it says a portion, it means the whole lot, because when I've looked online, it says for the whole pack. So that's, I mean, hot and spicy chicken breast slices, that's, that's hardly anything. You're not going to eat a whole pack. You might eat a quarter of it. They're quite big. 
are quite deep. So that is, let me just see how much. 240 grams. That's a lot of chicken. So two of those. The chicken chipolatas, they are one sin each, I believe. Works out at one sin each. And the, the, the chicken Italia. I really like these. They're really nice. And I think you could probably open them up and make little chicken meatballs to go in something. You know? So yeah, one and a half. Sorry, one sin each. Or half a sin each. Let me just, I will put it here. Because anything I'm not sure about, I'll put it here, okay? <laughs> these are only one and a half sins each. They're your snacker jack type things. They're smaller, but you don't really, um, it doesn't matter, does it? They're only um, 30 calories each. But I don't eat bread or crackers. Like, it's gluten-free if I have, and there's not much going on in the gluten-free world for just a nice, decent cracker that's got, you know, that's got plenty of, um, that, that's free, or your healthy extra bees. So I, I do tweak my healthy extra bees a bit. Anyway, but for one and a half sins, you're okay. Now, I really like a sushi. A sushi, this hasn't got much in it. Um, unfortunately, these ones only have the soy sauce in it, but I've got wasabi in the cupboard and um, I could make a little bit of ginger up or something. But that is one and a half sins for the chicken one, and that is two sins. Now, for the same thing in Lidl, and that I, I've gone off them a bit, they're a little bit dry, they're okay, but they're a little bit dry. For the little ones, they are, it's three and a half sins for that, and I think three sins for that. So you've got a really good um, selection there for much lower sins. So I should be getting them from then, then from, them from there from now on. Because sometimes I can't quite fit it in and I want to eat the whole bit. As a, you know, just, just sometimes. Or you might only want half, so you can really sort of play with, you play with your sins a little bit there. What I really like are these, um, these rice packs and quinoa packs. So... For me, it's not really worth cooking up a load of quinoa because it doesn't last that long in the fridge. It lasts a little bit longer. So I just get these, you know, quinoa's expensive. So for the whole pouch, it's four sins. And that is the red and white quinoa. And that'll do me three or four, it even freezes. That'll do me three or four meals. And I'm, I'm happy with that. That's, I don't eat pasta. I don't eat a great amount of, I don't eat couscous. You know, all these free things that I can't eat, I just use this instead. And I might sin it. I might not, because remember, I'm not filling up on the other things. I'm not eating the couscous that everyone loves. And, you know, the, I eat a bit of rice. I eat no pasta whatsoever. I don't even eat gluten-free pasta, really. I might try some, but it's just, I don't know. You know, I don't eat a lot of potatoes. So all those free fillers, I don't eat. So this is why I probably wouldn't even count it for myself, you know. I'd have a small portion and possibly not count it. But that's my tweaks, remember, okay? If you do eat that, don't, you know, you, you will have to sin this, I should think. But it's working for me and it's working fine. Four sins for the whole pouch, quite a big one. And then this one is, um, that's 220 and that's 250. And this is the Cajun style quinoa and there's only one and a half sins for the pouch. So I'm not quite sure. It's got a lot more crap in it, I'll tell you that. This has only got quinoa and a tiny bit of olive oil. <laughs> so that has got... A much bigger amount of uh, rubbish in it, glucose syrup. So, you know, I I don't get it, but there you go. That's how they work things. I don't, I don't. Uh, there's no rhyme or reason to it for me, but there you go. If it works, it works. So that is the Cajun style quinoa. I've got the Korean barbecue rice, which looks really nice. That's three sins for the whole pack. I won't eat the whole pack. If you do, sin it. If you don't, sin accordingly. You know. And then this is the peri peri rice, which I'm going to have tonight. Maybe. Should I have it tonight? Yeah, I think so. I think I will. Or should I have a Korean? I don't know. I can't make up my mind yet. <laughs> the Peri Peri, that's only one and a half sins per pouch. Now, when you get your app out and put it on there, it says per portion. When you type it in, it says per pouch. So they're expecting you to have this as a portion. Not many people have 250 grams of rice, but you may do. And if you do, it's in it. There you go. Um, instead of porridge in, uh, and cereals, I have seeds, and these are chia seeds, and I believe for 25 grams, which is quite a lot, it's about two, nearly two tablespoons, which you don't need because they plump up, um, that is your one healthy extra B. One tablespoon is one and a half sins, and that's all you need because they plump up the same as the flax. You don't, I only have the one bit, so I'll, I'll count, say, um, half a tablespoon of this and half a tablespoon of flax together, It'll be maybe one and a half to two sins. 
and it plumps right up, you know? So it's really, really nice. And so fill it and so good for you. You know, cereal, by all means, they're healthy for you because they are fortified. They've got all your stuff in this. It's got doesn't need to be fortified. It's just one little thing. And um, it's got this really high in omega-3 um, fatty acids. Brilliant. Hazel, Brazil nuts. I believe you can possibly have six of these. I'll put it here as a healthy extra and they are possibly one sin each for 100 grams of this and um, this is a 200 gram pack of half a bag of this this is why you've got to be careful with nuts half a bag of this yeah 100 grams which is about not even that much right yeah so half that much which is quite easy to munch on when you don't look at when you can't see what you're looking at is 692 calories they are a full fat, <laughs> full of fat, full of goodness, really good for you, absolutely wonderful. And these, you know, Brazil nuts especially, the highest ranked nut, you know, they've got so many good fatty acids in them. But for just a 330, 30 gram, which is a, like a small handful, and I mean a small handful, you're looking at two over 200 calories. So be aware, <laughs> be very aware, easy to, especially around Christmas time. I don't want to say the C word, but you know, it's going to happen. <laughs> so I like, I don't drink very often at all. In fact, I mostly drink this, maybe Christmas I might have a drink, but at the moment I'm just not, it just doesn't worry me. So I thought I'd try the Aldi Zero Seco and it is for a hundred mil is 25 calories, which is, it's, I think that's one, it's not even one and a half sins. So I believe for two, a big 200 mil, you're looking at uh, three sins. So you can have a really big glass of this for two sins, you know? So if you had a really big glass of Prosecco, I know it's got the alcohol and it makes you feel all giddy and nice and ever, whatever. Um, not the next day, though, eh? <laughs> um, it's, it'd be about nine sins. So you really, sometimes, you know, have some, have some of that. Have a little go. Have a try. Now we're getting on to the really good stuff. <laughs> the stuff you really want to see. Now, breakfast pork patties. I'm sure when I had something like this before, they were either three or they were about one sin each. Now they are three and a half sins each. Which, let me put it in again. I'm going to put it up here. That's what it says per portion or per thing. But... Is it because Slimming World have bought their own version out that they've gone up in sins? Or have they always been that high in sins? I'm really, really confused there because I just picked them up. Remembering last time I got them, they were really low in sins. I don't know what's happened. They, I believe they are per, per patty, which is, 100, is 132 calories. Yeah, I'm last slightly, slightly dubious about what's going on there. Anyway. What's done is done. I bought them, you know. I love a little ice cream once in a while. And these are something that I really enjoy of an evening. And that is the minis, gelati. Sorry, these are, I don't, they're just the G. <laughs> the G. The Aldi ones and the little ones are pretty much the same. These are slightly lower. These are, I believe, about six and a half, between six and six and a half sims per ice cream. And I believe the little ones may be nearer seven. Anyway, lovely. Just enough to keep you happy. Always, always in my snack box because these are only five and a half sins each. They and they really do. I am a chocolate holic, as you know, and these really do hit the spot. One of these, absolutely lovely. They're quite big. They're just right. I also love my dark chocolate and sea salt. It's really good for you, dark chocolate. And this is good, really good quality chocolate. And this is six and a half sins per bar. And I'll just show you what that looks like. They don't look huge. But when you think of Freddo, it's about five and a half sins and it, um, it's not as good quality. This is very satisfying because it's lovely dark chocolate. You really get that, you really get that lovely uh, hit. You know the hit that chocolate gives you. Now, here's some, oh, I've got these because I really like them. They're lovely with a bit of the yogurt on and then a bit of chocolate or something crumbled on. They are three sins each and um, they're just really, really nice. Again, a really lovely treat, really lovely. And you can do so much with them. Lovely. Three sins each. Now, what I was very happy about, 
because it's nearly Christmas. Matchmakers are back. One sin each. So if you've used all your sins up or all your calories, whatever you're doing up, and you really think, I need chocolate, because come on now, we do need it. We're not stupid. <laughs> and you, I'm 50, nearly 54 now, and I still have to have crap chocolate. I just still have the cravings. Not every day, though. I'm weaning myself off. There's something in it, isn't there? One sin each. And I think that's really good. Because what, you know, if it's enough, it's enough to just give you that little yum yum. And then chocolate fingers. Again, one sin each, which I thought was really good. If you, you know, I say, oh, you can, can't stop at one. Yeah, but you could have five. <laughs> that's the thing. You could have, you know, you could really have some tea and biscuits. And that's what some people really want, isn't it? So that's my fabric, not not Cadbury's, obviously their little own. So that, I believe, is that. Yes, that's my huge little shop. So I'm really pleased with what I've got. Haven't been there for quite a while. The only thing I didn't get was fresh meat, but remember I did that big little, sorry, Aldi shop, Aldi shop. When I did that big little shop quite a while ago, I really filled up. Do you remember I've got a really big little shop and I've still got stuff in the freezer. So I'm not too concerned about that. I've got enough in there. Um, I'm still wondering what to have for tea tonight, which, which quinoa or rice pack to have. Um, that's it. I believe that's everything. So that's my big Audi shop and that will keep us going for quite a while. I know there's a few treats in there, but I've got people coming round today. I've got, we're going away next weekend, so we'll probably take a few bits with us. And um, I, I've been just over a week really back on it now. And I did, I weighed on Wednesday and, no, Thursday, sorry. And I'd lost four and a half pounds. So I'm really, really pleased with that. But that's my first week and I don't tend to lose Quite, I tend to lose quite quickly, but I also gain quite quickly, you know? So when I get to my target, which I've got about another seven pounds to go, six or seven pounds to go to where I'm gonna be happy, um, then it's maintaining. As you can tell by the way my weight goes up and down, my maintenance is difficult. I can't seem to just stay the same. My It will always go up and down. So that's just the way I am, I suppose you know and you know i did i'm very easily led say say you pop onto tiktok and oh that god that bit annoys me that bit of hair sorry and someone saying oh you don't want to do this you don't want to do that oh, you don't want to do it like this you want to do it like that well there are people quite happy with what they're doing but when you have it in your face all the time you, you mess about and i think that's what i did i you know i went oh i'm being oh keto is the best way and then oh calorie counting is the best way but actually what the best way has been has been the slimming world and i proved it by just doing it really well making sure i get everything in having my treats and i lost four and a half pounds so i think i think it's okay i think it works but um that's uh, and that's that really i thought i'd just pop in with this let you know how i'm doing and i'll hopefully see you very soon okay and thank you for new subscribers thank you for all your wonderful comments you are such lovely people it really is so nice um and it, it is worth doing it isn't it because this keeps me in check this helps me and if it can help you as well then that's just brilliant so i will see you very soon again i keep saying goodbye and i keep chatting <laughs> bye everybody